Early ball played forward. Serena bowled it in behind this time. Kaylee Collins doing just enough, but it's one back by Hoban this time. Who gets the strike away, but Kaylee Collins hangs on. It's definitely the right decision for Hoban there to try and uh, chip Collins from there. I think if it's a one-touch finish, Lovely ball for Libby Copas Brown getting the strike away and just dragging wide. Almost at her second in as many weeks. That's a sensational ball. Yeah, definitely a super effective player in the Newcastle Jet setup. It'll, it'll be interesting to see the physical battle between her and Matos this evening, Campbell, knowing the individual qualities of these players. They're both quick, they're both um, dominant. Serena Bolden laying it off this time, getting the strike away! Who else? But Libby Copas Brown, two in two weeks from outside the box. Bravo! And that's a superb strike by Copas Brown. You can see the effect Serena Bolden has in this front line when she can hold the ball up. She brings it down with her chest. Clever little layoff, and it's just a one touch clinical finish for Copas Brown. Well, she said copy and paste. Did it last week. How hard can it be? Of course, Ash Wilson. Prior. Here's Karapetis. Great ball. This time for Copas Brown. Well defended by Vicky Bruce. One back, though, by Hoban this time. Teeing it up for Bolden. They can't hit the target. And that's exceptional by Sophie Hoban. When everybody else has stopped because they think it's just going out, she continues to try and save the ball from going out and then picks out a great option in Bolden at the top of the box there. That's one back very well. That time by Dundas. Bolden trying to make that run in behind the defence. Finds the ball now. Serena Bolden getting the strike away. Held on to by Kaylee Collins. Skips past Bryce once more. Lauren Allen still finding Bolden. Couldn't quite get the shot away. Still Hoban this time. Dundas striking. And held on to by Kaylee Collins. And it'll be out wide this time for Lauren Allen. Flag stays down. Delivering now for Serena Bolden rising. And on to the top of the netting. So good in the air. Was hanging forever. Couldn't get on top of it. Now the front third for Sophie Harding. Levels it right before the break. Right when she needed to. The ninth goal of the season. And what a campaign she's having. Sophie Harding from coast to coast. One minute. The Newcastle Jets have the opportunity. And just like that, the wonder is a level. And you can see it's that direct play by Western Sydney Wanderers. Caspers gets just enough on it to help it on. And Sophie Harding, it's a clinical finish. Really well struck. It's exactly what the Wanderers have been trying to do all game long. Playing the ball in behind that Jets back line. And this time a long goal kick flicked on by Caspers. Finds its way to Sophie Harding and it's just enough. Here's Collins. Giving away possession. Libby Copas Brown looking for two. And a golden opportunity for Copas Brown to give her Jets back the lead. Get her second of the game. Goes begging. Bolden. Great ball for Davis. Now getting in a more advanced position. We saw her score an absolute screamer in the reverse leg earlier this season. Is Bolden. Allen getting the strike away herself this time out of nowhere and forcing a great save out of Kaylee Collins. Wow. His price under pressure from Hoban wins the ball back. No foul either. Sophie Hoban. Bolden getting the strike away. Saved by Collins trying to make up for lost ground. It does go out of play. And it will be a corner. Kaylee Collins protesting. Despite that. And lucky to not give away the foul there, perhaps. Sophie Hoban. 
And that's what Amy Harrison's having the conversation with Isabella Mossen about. The two players coming together there as well. And whether it's Price or Harrison in this moment, both have the technical ability um, to get this on target. Is Harrison driven low towards that bottom corner and followed up at the death by Vicky Bruce, the defender. The American gives her side the lead late in the game. A moment of chaos. Conjured by the captain in her 100th game, Amy Harrison. And it gives the Wanderers the lead. Well, it's her third of the campaign. Vicky Bruce.